So the topic today is all about factors affecting rates of chemical reactions. So the learning objective for um, today is students will be able to state and explain collision theory, explain the factors that affect reaction rates. So let's start with collision theory. So there must be three things that we should keep in mind. Molecules must collide in order to react. That's number one. Number two, in order to effectively initiate a reaction, collisions must be sufficiently energetic uh, to break chemical bonds. This energy is known as the activation energy. And last, as the temperature rises, molecules move faster and collide more vigorously, greatly increasing the likelihood of a bond uh, breakage upon collision. So this is the collision uh, theory visualization. So um, they must react or collide with the correct orientation for the collision to be effective. Okay, like this one right here at the bottom part, wherein you have A plus BX. They will give you B plus AX. A. Uh, because with this one, A doesn't collide with X. So therefore, it will not be forming AX. So the, um, the collision is not effective. Okay, so what are the factors that affect the rate of a chemical reaction? The first one is reactant concentration. Increasing the concentration of one or more reactants will uh, increase the rate of the reaction. So a higher concentration of a reactant will lead to more collisions of the reactant in a specific time period. So therefore, uh, when this happens, the um, rate of reaction increases. Let's take a look at this one right here. Um, we have uh, molecules of um, substances right here. We have a few molecules, okay, and a few collisions. Therefore, if there are, if you increase the concentration, there'll be more, more collisions and um, the rate of reaction will also increase. So as you can see, the volume remains the same, but the number of particles okay, are uh, more. So therefore, um, giving it the chance to more collisions so that the rate of reaction will be greater. So next is the effect of um, temperature. So definitely an increase in temperature increases the rate of the reaction. And this is because um, an increase in temperature will raise the average kinetic energy of the reactant molecules. So the more the energy, the more the collisions. And then the third factor is the presence of a catalyst. A catalyst is a substance that accelerates a reaction by participating in it without being consumed. There are two kinds of catalysts. Okay, When we speak of a catalyst, we speak of a positive catalyst, which uh, indeed accelerates the reaction or increases the rate of the reaction. But there is also a catalyst, which is the negative one, and we call it an inhibitor. An inhibitor um, slows down the rate of the reaction or stops it. Examples of those are antibiotics. So catalysts reduce the activation energy of a reaction. So the activation energy is the energy needed to initiate a chemical reaction. 
a catalyst uh, means that there's less energy in it to get uh, the reaction started. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, the presence of a catalyst. Uh, right here, take a look at the activation energy when you use a catalyst. Now compared to one which is uncatalyzed. So the energy is lower, so making it uh, making the reaction go faster compared to the one that is uh, that did not use a catalyst. So another one is this one. So another picture that may be clearer. Um, the top one is the one that is without the enzyme, which is an example of a catalyst, and the lower one is with an enzyme. Okay. So the fourth um, factor that affects the rate of the reaction is the surface area or the particle size. So take a look at this one right here so you, you'll know how, what I mean about this. So you have a low surface area compared to high surface area. Take a look at this. The particle is solid. Now compared to the other one in which okay, they are uh, like ground or they are in pieces, making the surface area bigger. So breaking the reactant into smaller pieces increases the surface and more particles are exposed to the reaction mixture. This results in an increase uh, frequency of collision and therefore a faster rate of reaction. And the fifth one, uh, which affects the rate of a reaction, is chemical nature of the reacting substances. So the rate of a reaction depends on the nature of the participating substances. Reactions that appear similar may have different rates under the same conditions depending on the identity of the reactants. And take a look at this one right here. Example, when a small piece of metal, iron, and sodium, are exposed to air, the sodium reacts completely with air overnight, whereas the iron is barely affected. So it all depends upon the activity um, activity series of metals, whether they are very reactive or they are not. So um for a summary, there are five factors affecting the speed of a reaction or the rate of a reaction. And uh, they are, again, um, the concentration. Next is temperature, the presence of a catalyst third, the fourth is surface area and particle size, and lastly, we have the chemical nature of reacting substances.